video welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video if you are someone who enjoys talking about film how about clicking that subscribe button so we have made through the month of july i saw six movies this month so we're about to rank those <laughs> As a reminder, in the month of July, I was pretty much just doing ranking videos. So out of the six movies um, on my list for today, I only have a review for one. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to give you an update on what I'm planning on doing for the month of August and possibly September. But let's go ahead and get on with uh, July's rankings. I'm going to try to do this video as best as I can with all my glasses, but... I think at some point they may end up coming on you if they're just going to, I, I cannot see my screen. So first up looks like it's Animal Crackers. I actually just saw this movie, uh, yes, well technically, no I did, this morning I finished it, right? I don't know you guys, it took me two days to finish this movie so that could kind of more so tell you where so it's going to be at. Now Animal Crackers was initially released in a animation international festival i can't remember which one back in 2017 it was released in china 2018 and it had a u.s release date like several u.s release dates kind of think about it like new mutants it just kept getting bounced around financial deals and everything finally netflix picked it up and it was released on the 24th i believe it is a cute movie you guys it is i'm gonna give it that but a when it comes to animation, I've said this a few times, I'm not the attended audience, so it is for kids. So that's obviously where it's gonna go. Yeah, I'm sorry you guys, I just, I'm not gonna be able to do this without my glasses. It's gonna go into the for kids section because it is a super cute film for kids. Now this movie's about some magical animal crackers. If you eat the lion cracker, you're gonna turn into a lion, octopus, you know, so and so, so and so. The concept of it, it's cute. Um, we're in a circus, which I think really kind of goes well with what they're going with just because I don't really know how turning into animals might fit too too well with like other circumstances but the human turns into an animal to perform their act and just kind of make the circus that much better. It's a Netflix film so you're not gonna waste any money so I think if you do have kids between the age of like two to maybe like seven, eight, um, they're gonna truly enjoy this film maybe older i don't know but kids these days just grow up so fast who knows but um if you want to uh, i feel like if you want to add some little extra cool like parent points get yourself some animal crackers honestly because i feel more than likely your kid is gonna want some animal crackers after watching this because they're gonna want to play of oh i'm gonna be a tiger i'm gonna be a giraffe and i'm gonna be so and so and like even make it into like a family like you know movie night and game night at the end i think you guys can have a lot of fun with this uh, but let's go ahead and move on to another netflix movie desperados um that one honestly was just forgettable it could be you tried as well but i'm not gonna be that mean today and we're gonna put it into forgettable this movie honestly you guys was pretty terrible i really should put it into the you try but again we're gonna be nice i feel like this movie might have worked like in the early 2000s or even the 2010s but like we're in 2020 and it's like no we should be having like more strong independent badass women films which we have been getting a lot of but then we got this one and basically the movie is about wesley ran into this cute ass guy well actually the guy kind of helps her when she falls and when she basically tells the guy i i don't know basically being that that, that dumb girl the no opinion lady girl which is not who she is in real life jared finds this very appealing it's like oh i love that about you like he really wants this naive girl they have like this wonderful week of lies basically because you know she's not being who she is meant to be and she thinks that he's ghosting her but he actually wasn't in this like terrible accident was in a coma her girlfriends came around and they had like this drunken night and they ended up seeing this long ass email the moment that the friend sends it well who calls jared talk about oh i'm so glad that you're not like these other girls going crazy and blah 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 so he's in mexico so the logic thing to do apparently in this time around is we're gonna fly to mexico because you know he's in the hospital we're gonna break into his hotel we're gonna delete that email so, so that's what that movie's about 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's let's move on to Mighty Oak, which is on VOD, and this movie was was okay. It it was. We have Janelle Parrish, which is Mona from Pretty Little Liars, one of my favorite TV shows. We have Alexa and Carlos Penavega. Raven Simone also has a little cameo in this film. So basically, it's about this like band who was like on the rise, and they were actually going to this gig, and they were in this horrific car accident. Um, Janelle's brother actually is the only one that died because he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Uh, we cut, I think it's 10 years later, 10 or 11 years later. It's about six bucks to watch. It's cute. I don't think you need to rush to rent it. Um, it did make me cry. But if you do believe in like reincarnation, you may enjoy this film. And up next would be Palm Springs, which is actually the only movie on my list that I do have a review on. If you've seen my review, you know how I feel about it. Um, honestly, wow. It was such a great movie you guys really is it is on amazon no not on amazon it's on hulu it's another like time loop movie you know like edge of tomorrow obviously groundhog's day i won't go too much into it you guys i do have a review on it just so you can get more of my full thoughts about it um i'll link that down below like i always do if i do have a review on my videos but honestly this is one of my favorite uh movies of the year uh let's go ahead and move on to the old dog and i thought that movie was actually pretty good now me personally i prefer this movie over extraction i wasn't really that fond of extraction basically charlie staring is a freaking badass she's like immortal i mean she dies they all die but then they kind of come back to life there's a scientist who wants to get them to experiment on them not your typical like villain right but it's kind of like you know what we should be afraid of these like smart people because you don't know what the hell they're trying to invent we don't know what they have they could have some sort of like serum and just boom that just inject you i did mean to do a review on this movie but i didn't quite get to it but i am looking forward to the sequel uh so moving on to the very last one hamilton i know some people are not really classifying this as a movie some people are i'm gonna go ahead and put it on here i saw it it is a musical it is on disney plus i had a good time with it so it's just it was enjoyable for me now i personally do love musicals but if you're not somebody who enjoys musicals this is not going to be for you now this actually is the original broadway production of hamilton with the cast and everything um it was uh written by uh lynn manuel miranda he's freaking amazing um, he did a really good job mixing like hip-hop jazz r&b uh just like different broadway styles uh within this musical go ahead and move on um with my updates for the month of august i'm gonna go ahead and give my ranking videos a little bit of a break for now a quarter does not incorporate my monthly tier list i actually am doing a new playlist called hit rewind and basically i'm just going to be reviewing um old movies well old movies that i have never seen and i'm just gonna classify old movies from like 2019 back so yeah that's all that i have for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video so these are all the movies that i saw in the month of july and how i rank them go ahead and let me know down below what you guys saw did we see the same movies do you agree uh, with where i placed everything on my list if not that's okay everybody has their own personal opinion uh, of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye